yelling for the Chiefs. Yelling for Kansas City. Kansas City. Yelling for KU. Yes! Yes! All that yelling. Was your voice something that you uh, took for granted? Oh, yes, absolutely. Michaela Weinstock is a graphic artist from Shawnee. She and her husband are big KU basketball fans. So on the night the Jayhawks won it all. Was there a lot of yelling that night? But what do you I mean, remember? I definitely would say, I don't want to blame my husband, but yeah, he's a little bit louder than me, but yeah, I definitely can also give him a run for his money. And within a few weeks, her voice was gone. So you have a case of vocal trauma. Yeah, I do. Right. But that's not all she had. You can develop nodules and that's uh, essentially like calluses that are forming on the surfaces of the vocal cords. That's Dr. Ryan Neff, an ear, nose and throat specialist with St. Luke's Health System. Those nodules, the white sections you see here, were spotted on her vocal cords after her doctor set a scope down her throat. And how do you fix it? So generally it's not surgical. So the best treatment is just rest. In Weinstock's case, her doctor called for no more talking and speech therapy to strengthen her vocal cords. Certainly after sporting events, you know, yelling, illnesses, coughing severely, that whenever you cough, your vocal cords are slamming together, so that can cause trauma. So for Weinstock, it's all about taking it easy. So the next time you watch KU playing a big basketball game on TV, not so much <laughs> yelling at the TV. I might tone it down a little bit. Chris Katz, KNBC 9 News.